Good evening. We may not know until tomorrow why three teens would steal a swan and her babies and then police say kill the mother Faye. Manly as police will have a briefing in the morning that should provide those answers. But tonight, News Channel 9's Steph Stoiko says people are just mourning the loss of this beloved Manlius mascot. Manny and Faye, the iconic Manlius swan couple, has captured the hearts of generations of visitors to the Manlius swan pond. Three generations here. I came here as a child. Uh, the, the swans and the, the ice cream. Denise Welch, disheartened by the news of Faye's passing, says coming to the swan pond has always been a tradition. My newest addition, my grandson, I certainly wanted to bring him out here. My son, I brought him out here. Friends of Manny and Faye, the iconic Manlius a swan couple were out supporting one another. The mayor handing out these village pins, some folks dropping off flowers, some even crying. I was devastated because, you know, it's such an important part of our village and I just don't understand what's going on in the world these days. Mayor Worrell says the entire village is branded by swans. He tells me people came from all over to see the duo. It's an important part of our village. As you see, our, our banners are all swans. Our, all our stationary stuff at the village is uh, swans. Swans have been here for over 100 years, donated to the village along with the pond in 1905. We're going to do what we can to protect these swans. We always have. Um, I've already sent out and contracted with somebody to put cameras around this whole perimeter of this uh, swan pond. And so. Um, this hopefully will never happen again. In hopes Manlius won't have to suffer another loss like this again. In the village of Manlius, Steph Stoiko, News Channel 9. News Channel 9 was there earlier today when two of the teens were taken into custody at the Shop City Plaza in Syracuse. In all, three 18-year-old Iman Hussein and a 16- and 17-year-old charged. The sound was scheduled for an arraignment tonight. The other two were given appearance tickets and will appear in court at a later date. And again, if you have any information that can help, call Manlius Police at 315-682-2212.